so here I'm trying to install Windows 10 this can happen to Windows 7 as well so this error is saying that there is no drivers that Windows has found to be able to install Windows 10 or Windows 7 on it there could be a multiple of reasons for this one could be that there is no driver like a software driver is installed or it's available in the installation program so that it could access the hard disk that could be one of the problems another problem could be that your hard disk is somehow is not connected to your computer that's another problem and the third problem is that there is a setting in BIOS that you need to change to be so that your windows could detect your hard drive in this video i will be talking about this only one of the solutions i created another video for the other solutions so in this video i will show you what you have to do to your bios settings so that your problem would be resolved so let's restart the computer now another symptom for this problem is when you restart your computer you receive this screen so another thing we can do is to go to the boot setup by pressing F2 and we need to change the controller to Ata. so if we change here to Ata, and then it says are you sure then it says yes now we need to go to the drives here you can see what's connected and what's not as you can see SATA 4 is where the DVD player is and if I scroll up you can see SATA 1 port is where the hard disk is so that's why I checked SATA 1 and I checked SATA 4 now go to the boot sequence and I want USB to be on the top apply exit F12 ok now you can see that the window is loading again it can be from your USB stick it can be from your DVD player it can be even from your external hard disk before I finish this video one last thing that you need to double check is to make sure that things are connected physically so this is where all the SATA cables are inserted you can see I have inserted SATA 0 and SATA 1 but obviously SATA 0 doesn't have any hard disk I've already got one hard disk but I didn't know which one is which so I connected all and the orange one is for the DVD player which sits in the front here so these two are now working if you're problem is still not solved please go and watch part two which can be other reasons why it's not detected please again if you resolve your problem don't forget to subscribe i need to get to the 10,000 subscribers to be able to open new opportunity on youtube i hope i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye